You are looking live out to the west from our Valley Sky Cam. Uh, some high clouds starting to drift in overhead as we head into the evening. The wind starting to taper off a bit and speeds that are not gusty, but still out of the west at 20 miles per hour. Upper 50s right now at 57 degrees in both Grand Forks and Fargo. And here's a look around the region. We have some uh, low 50s for Langdon and mid 50s in Grand Forks. Uh, coolest weather right now up near Lake of the Wood, five degrees in Fergus Falls this hour and still near 60, although it's been a very windy day as promised. More wind in the forecast and as we and showers rolling off the Rocky Mountains of Montana that will be heading our way overnight. And here's the timing of those as we see some transition happening on our Wednesday. But this evening, get out and enjoy decreasing wind, increasing clouds, and temperatures that will be in the 40s for most of us as we get ready for bed tonight. Then the rain passes its way through. So what? We'll passing showers, some of it moderate to heavy, and it looks overnight. So some of you may wake up with a tenth or two in the rain gauge. Wind will be the lightest first thing in the morning with temperatures for most of us in the 40s. And take a look at how our day goes. As we go towards noon, the wind really starts cranking out of the west now. West winds gusting to 40 miles per hour and higher for a few of us. Rain chances continue up. Hours of rain with the wind becoming northwesterly. This is going to tug some of this cool Canadian air right down into the valley for the remainder of our work week. So the rain shower chances will be passing throughout the day. By the evening hours, the wind starts to decrease. But look at these bedtime temperatures, 20s north, 30 south. The cold air will be here by this time tomorrow. See there, 54 degrees, and then we're on our way down through the afternoon with passing showers. It's not going to rain all afternoon. And then heading into the evening, the clouds decrease, and so do those temperatures. I'm scooting out of the way. I, I don't want to say it, but that's in the 30s. All right, as we take a look at your hometown forecast at 4 o'clock, the coldest air will be where we see the blues here in northwest Minnesota. In near the 30s already in the afternoon. Passing showers, wind gusts over 40 miles per hour with, uh, again, a blustery day in store. Tiffany capturing some beautiful colors here in Comstock. Thanks once again, Tiffany, for uploading your photo. Thursday, cool day, still in the 40s. Saturday, we have thrown up the first alert change. Snow across the region looks to accumulate, and it looks more light. And those continue right into next week as we stay below average by a long ways. So we take a look at one model. We'll look at another one later. The Models don't agree, you guys, but we do know this. It's going to be colder, there'll be passing snow, and it will accumulate for some of us. And we'll keep our eyes on it here and keep you informed throughout the week on Valley News Live. All right. Thanks, Ted.